welcome to Vickyville and this is the craft edition. I just wanted to share a little collective um, things that I've been working on and I'll probably come back on maybe uh, tomorrow or sometime um, and not fashion but crafty because I have been able to get a lot done in my craft room so I've been so excited about that. But first I wanted to share some things that I am loving right now. So first off, I, and I'm going to do separate videos for these things. So I got my Coco in Reno for the month. So I'm, I'm kind of behind on that too. So I think I'm going to devote a whole video for the last couple of um, boxes or bags that I've gotten. And so that will be coming up. I also got some new Sassy Club stamps that I'm so excited about. I'm going to a Care Bear event in June and I was looking for some stamps that had Care Bears and I found this one at the Sassy Club and it's so cute and I will definitely be bringing you along on that event so stay tuned. I can't wait and I'm like trying to rub uh, like make my creative you know thoughts flow because uh, there's a lot of fun things that we have to make for that to swap so I'm trying to think if you have any ideas let me know and then this one is called what is this one called magic I think and it's so cute you know I just had to throw in a little Disney love there there's the castle and I, I really love that because it looks like my backpack which is right there <laughs> my, my first lounge fly so I thought that was so cute so I can't wait to play with those Another um, stamps that I had got, and I wanted to say that when I when these stamps arrived, they were from Mama Elephant, and I understand the post office is crazy, um, but it came all like smashed, and the uh, the die was broken, and they were so quick to replace the die. It was really nice. So, um, and the stamp wasn't bad at all. So I said, don't worry about the stamp. I just please the the die. I would love to have. So they, they sent it and I was so happy. So I got this one, which is like the succulents. This is called Little Succulent Agenda. And I thought that was so cute for summer. Adorable. And then I got this one, which is called It's Okay. And they just reminded me of my pets because I have English Bulldogs and they kind of look like that. So I thought that was an adorable stamp set. So definitely I'm gonna play with that. And then this is the die that um, they replaced for me really quickly. So I appreciate that a lot. So good um, good on Mama Elephant, that was the bomb. And I started to make a little card using both sets. I'm gonna add like a little sentiment in the middle, but that that's a really fun set for summer. Okay, what else? Oh, then my, I love this Keep It Simple collection. Oh, it's so cute. They have, um, this new one that's called Little Cowgirl Birthday. And it's so cute because I love, I love like the chicken. And then I was thinking about like Thanksgiving, but look at the little horse and the little pig. Think about like the farm. I'm gonna be going to the fair and I thought this would be a perfect stamp set to um, use for that. And then this is a stamp that it, in the same collection, but um, it's the sentiments. And so they say like, you are my most wanted list, kicking it cowgirl style, bless your heart. Dirt is cowgirl glitter and southern roots and cowgirl boots. Dream big little cowgirl, it's so cute. So there's a bunch of fun little sentiments on that. So I can't wait to use that. And then it also came with, I mean not came with, but this is another in the line. This is called little cowgirl birthday as well. And then I just think she is so cute. Look at that little cowgirl there on the pony. And I love the balloons. Those are really versatile. You could use those on a lot of things. And the banner as well, the little flag. So I thought that'd be so cute for the 4th of July. And then it also has the ephemera set to it. And I know that a paper pack is coming as well. So look at how cute that ephemera is. I can't wait to play with this. And I will definitely show you when I do make something with that. And then this is also by Keep It Simple. It's called Chore Gnomes and so cute. Work hard, dream big, work hard and be awesome. 
teamwork makes dream work. Um, so many responsibilities. Your hard work paid off. Thanks for all your hard work. I appreciate all you do. And that's just so cute. The little gnomes are like doing all their chores. I thought that was adorable. I know this does come with the ephemera and a, a paper pad as well, but I don't have that yet. I will be getting it and so I will show you. And then this is just more along the chore gnomes. It says, Alexa, clean the bathroom. <laughs> and then we can forecast crafting with no chance of house cleaning or cooking. Who fired the maid? And it's just so cute. So I can't wait to play with that. This is on the chore gnome line. And that is by Keep It Simple. So, so cute, can't wait to play that. So those are just some things that I have been loving lately and I'm gonna show you as soon as I get done making the projects. Okay, now these are things that I have been working on. So first off, I showed this on my Instagram, but they are like, I love dyes. And like I said, I got a lot of gift cards for my birthday and basically it went to um, crafting, which this is a KS craft die and um oh no actually this one here yeah kiss craft and this one is called flower sing this is the one that it looks like and i got this from amazon and i made these cuties i just i thought that was so cute for fourth of july then just like some little ones that i could throw on packaging or this could just be a really cute little card for like the pastel lovers and then this little cat mermaid. So I thought that was so cute. Okay, then Christian, Christian's Crafty Adventure, she showed uh, some dyes from Allie and they were Hello Kitty. And you know, since my last fashion video, how much I love, love Hello Kitty. So when she showed that, I definitely had to jump on there. So I got a few uh, different little dyes from Allie. And so I'll show you them as um, they come. So that's how she looked, okay? And Christian has a great video on how to make it easier to die cut. And so instead of having to die cut like 3000 times, <clears throat> how you could just do like a white and a black and then color it in using your markers. And that's what I did here. And then I just used my Copic markers on her Hair, which is that and then I just added some cosmic shimmer in Luna paste to give it like a little bit of a sparkle so I thought that was so cute so that was the first one then there's this one it says hello coffee and then hello kitties in the center and I made this right here so that one you do kind of have to cut out a few times because of the, the letters and stuff, but still the end result is so cute that it did, it's, it's all good. <laughs> okay, then let's see, I thought, okay, this one I thought, I'm not sure, I thought it was real Akuma, but it's not. It's like, I know all Hello Kitty, I don't know all of Hello Kitty's friends. My niece Paisley would be like, Auntie, um, I think his name is like Pew, Pew, Punar or something like that but I should have it looked up but anyways he's so cute and then I cut him out he has a little beret and like little candies in his hand so he's so cute okay and then this one you know me I love coffee or tea or anything like that so this is the dye here and then I made it that. And then I just used my white pen just to give dimension in there. But these are like traditional Hello Kitty colors and I love it. Probably put, use it in my planner for like 4th of July, but how cute is that? And like I said, I just cut it in the white and black and then colored it all, everything else in with my Copic markers. And that Christian has a great video on that. And then this is another cute with a little strawberry for summer. And 
I mean, and this was super simple. So you could, you know, for your friends, you can make cards, you could have them just make them, a, you know, ahead of time and then just stash them. I think that's a great idea while you're watching your shows. Oh, and on that point, oh my goodness, is anybody watching the show Candy on Hulu with Jessica Biel? It is so good. It was only a five night, um, like, show. So it was five nights in a row. I just finished it right before I started filming and I was like, wowzers. It was crazy. If you are love like true crime like I do, because it was based on a true crime, that's a good one to watch. Because I have, I, I, I love true crime. Like I love podcasts. I love Dateline. I love all those. I had never heard of this case. So it's really, really good. You guys, it's, it's wild. Okay. On it. So boom, <laughs> that's that. Okay. Then I found this one on Ellie as well. And I just thought it was so cute because it's like Jack with like Mickey ears. And I thought I have to try and play with that so I can start getting ready for Halloween. But honestly, Halloween is like every every month now. You don't even have to wait. So I think it would be so cute to work on some like nightmare stuff. So he was adorable and I loved that. So that was it for my um, alley. And then jumping back to Amazon with the KS Craft. This one is called Two Sizes Teapots. And I only made the bigger size on this one, but this is how it turned out. And I think it's so cute because I love tea. So I just kind of used my Heidi Swap um, Black Spray Spritzer. And so it gave it that dimension, but that's gonna be a lot of fun to make like happy mail with. And then this is another one from, this one is actually from ZF Party. I got this from Amazon too though. And this one is called Romantic, I think it was the Romantic Flowers. So that's the name. And then I made these little guys. And, and this was a lot of fun because I did it just while watching TV. And just to like, you, ah, you make a bunch and then you just stack them up on top of each other. And so they're just like a lot of fun to add for Happy Mail, I think. And you know, like we all have millions of little papers, you know, scraps hanging around. So it's cute just to have in your stash. And that's what I did. I just used some of my bling that's in the center and I just made a whole bunch of little flowers and I'm gonna be making more for that. Okay, I have a lot of stuff that I wanna show you because I haven't really filmed, but I don't wanna make this video too long. And these are the last little things that I made. This was from um, KS Craft as well. And this was a wallet. And that's how I used some um, Mickey paper from, just I think I got this just at Joann's in their loose paper. And used a little pink and main bow dye there. And then a little center bow from I can't remember where I got that. And then this is just, I fussy cut it out of the paper and then I just backed it and popped it. And so, and then just added some, the Dollar Tree Velcro. And then you can gift somebody with some candy in there or some more, how cute would it be if you threw in some of these flowers that were like Disney colors inspired. And then I just made another one and this is that one and I kind of tried to make it look like he had like a little like it was like a Disney wallet so and the same just added that and so these were the two little um wallets that I made and I can't wait to make more so that's going to be a lot of fun and yeah so basically uh that's everything that I've been working on crafting well I, I have a lot more but that I'm going to show today and I will show more of my Coco and Reno. I'll, sh I'll keep you up to date on what I do with like the Mama Elephant, the Keep It Simple, and also the Care Bears. That's gonna be a fun thing. And also this cute Sassy Club. I love the Sassy Club so much. So yeah, that's everything you guys. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday. And I hope that you guys um, 
uh, watch, get a chance to watch Candy if you like true crime because it's a good one. And yeah, Jessica Biel has definitely turned into the queen of um, weird because <laughs> if you watched any of her other shows, she's a producer on these shows, I think. And so, um, yeah, she, they're good. Like she's done The Center in the past. I don't know if you guys watched that one. That was really good too. Season one. Season two is okay. Season three, I didn't even watch, but season one was super good. So, yeah, that's just basically uh, what I am working on right now. I did get this, you guys. This is so cute. This is the ombre, like orangish uh, Starbucks cup that I love. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So I've been drinking out of that some water. But yeah, just let me know in the comments below what you want to see next crafty wise. I will be having a fashion video coming this week and I will be sure and let you know when it goes up on my um, Instagram. So please follow me at Vickyville underscore. And I also have a TikTok now, which is Vickyville seven. And um, I'm trying to like build all of my form, um, social media. So please subscribe or if you have a friend that might um, you know, enjoy that something like this fashion and crafting. Please let them know about me. This looks crazy today. I don't know why this bow is sticking up. So, but yeah, it's really been, uh, yeah, it looks even crazier now. It's been so hot in Southern California. Uh, yesterday it was like in the almost a hundred. And so I literally was like outside in the backyard working on wrapping beads. I'm so not good at it. If you are good at wrapping beads, can you please share with me your secrets? Because <laughs> they're not good. <laughs> I've tried and tried because uh, they're so pretty and I want to make a bunch of things for myself for all my crafty projects. So help a girl out and let leave in the comments below like a really good tutorial. I know that uh, Poochie Tats has a good one, but I couldn't find it earlier when I was just like, she wrapped, there was like a way that, I think it was her that wrapped really simple, but like you didn't have to do all the steps that are the normal steps. So if you know of an awesome video, please share it with me because I am having a really tough time with that. <laughs> all right, so thank you guys for being here. I hope you have a wonderful day. Always remember that Vickyville loves you and keep it crafty. Bye.